So the reveal train keeps on rolling as today we learned about more of the upcoming experience in Black Ops 6, this time with multiplayer, taking a look at what to expect and what's to come at launch. So we'll be seeing more details regarding weapons, equipment, perks, gunsmith systems, zombies, progression like prestige and the rewards there, camos, and more in the coming days. But for the time being, today we are introduced to our first look at some of the official launch modes, maps, and features that you should be aware of. So drop your thoughts as we go along, drop a like if you enjoy the video, and of course, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all things Black Ops 6 ahead of the game's launch. Broken record time, we're chasing down that 600,000 subscriber mark, so if you'd like to join us on that lofty goal of trying to get there by launch, or even just closing that gap a little further, I'd love to have you in the community, especially if you're part of that nearly 75% of viewers not subscribed. But anyways, let's get into the reveals at hand. So again, right up front, this is not everything as a first look at multiplayer, but just a few specific things in modes, maps, and a few new and returning features that you can expect to see within Black Ops 6. So starting out with those modes, we ended up seeing detailed were our standard modes at launch, Team Deathmatch, Domination, Search and Destroy, Kill Confirmed, Free For All, Hardpoint, Gunfight, Headquarters, Kill Order, and Control. So a few things here that are definitely prominent, noteworthy standard ones. Headquarters is going to be a launch mode. We've seen that, of course, all the way back in the day being a standard staple of the COD experience, but then was an LTM in some recent years, plus also being a launch mode. But this time again, we do have it as a launch mode on day one. And then control was that mode that we didn't have any confirmation on until this point, but we kind of figured it would be coming back, especially given that it's become a sort of staple in the CDL. Along with these, we also have the alternate modes of face-off domination, face-off team deathmatch, face-off kill order, and face-off kill confirmed, which are your 6v6 versions on strike maps. So those four maps we'll get to in a second that are much smaller and only reserved for face-off and then gunfight 2v2 combat. And then one thing that I'm sure a lot of people will love to hear the confirmation of is that hardcore will be there available at launch and will have team deathmatch, kill order, domination, hardpoint, search and destroy, kill confirmed, free for all, and face off mosh pit available here. The only things that do not appear to be available in hardcore right now are control, headquarters, or gunfight. So just bear that in mind. But moving along, let's talk about a few new features and tools, or rather some new and some returning. Of course, the training course is new to Black Ops 6, returning from the Black Ops 6 beta, this allowing you to just play and practice around with a real map environment, though you don't have anything like bots on this at the moment or anything. You do have those targets and things you can play around with on the map of Protocol. So definitely nice to see that. I do like that addition. The firing range is returning here for a third straight year, but with a few new improvements here coming along the way way. You of course have those standards that have been introduced since Modern Warfare 2's first firing range, where you end up having those practice dummies to shoot at at 10, 25, and 50 meter intervals. Dummies can end up having one, two, three, or zero plates of armor added to them. You have limitless ammunition, and the upper left corner will feature target elimination trackers, accuracy trackers, and a damage tracker as well. But the new details come down to a toggleable feature for a moving target, where a dummy will drop down from the ceiling on a conveyor belt and automatically moves back and forth throughout the range as you connect with it using your weapons. Once you hit it at a maximum range, it will move back to its initial position, and then the process can be repeated. And also, you end up having a toggleable feature of the recoil target, where a metal plate will hang down from the ceiling, drop down around seven meters from your booth, and allows you to fire your weapon at it to end up seeing that bullet spray, which is a very, very helpful thing, I think. Previously, you just had to do it at the firing range wall in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3, and it just wasn't as helpful. I think as this will be. Now, will it be something that clears super quickly? Because if you end up having those impact effects, will that be something that then you just, after like three magazines, you end up filling up the whole metal plate? We don't know exactly on that just yet, but a nice little hint in the right direction, which I'm happy about. Theater mode also returns, where this is unfortunately only going to be available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, as well as PlayStation 5. So last generation is not going to have access to this, but the things you can expect are obviously things like you can switch between first and third person, have a fly cam perspective for all the players of the match, eliminations and deaths are visualized on the timeline that you can easily scrub through, fast forward, rewind, and full playback speed controls, plus you can press record to trigger an Xbox or PlayStation recording while in theater mode. But one interesting asterisk here that they detailed out of this was that all theater files expire after seven days or when a game update is released. 
Now, this is something that might be a bit of a sticker shock for a lot of players. It might not be an issue at all for some players, but I'd imagine this has something to do with cloud save data and not necessarily just inundating any servers with files that aren't really ever going to be used because I mean, you can go back to like Black Ops 1 and still see theater saved files from 13 years ago. So that's something they're probably trying to avoid, just having that data building and building and building while it may be entirely untouched. So that's my guess, but who knows? And again, a little asterisk on that. But now let's talk about maps for Black Ops 6. We've had these previously listed. We got a little bit more details here about these in particular, but of course you end up having the maps of Babylon, Derelict, Lowtown, Payback, Protocol, Red Card, Rewind, Scud, Skyline, Subsonic, Vault, and Vorkuta as your standard 6v6 maps. Those, of course, all being your regular ones that you can play every single mode on, but then you also end up having the Strike maps, which are mainly for gunfight and 2v2, but do support 6v6 play as a part of the face-off modes. But a reminder, those will only support the modes of Domination, Team Deathmatch, Kill Order, and Kill Confirmed. So things like Control, Free for all, hardpoint, headquarters, and search and destroy, those will not be available in these strike map variations. But you have the maps of Gala, Pit, Stakeout, and Warhead. Warhead is the only map we haven't been able to play on since the beta. You may not have gotten a whole ton of time with Stakeout that was added within weekend two, and I believe like halfway through weekend two. So there was probably only like two or three days that were available to play with that. But Warhead, of course, being that smaller sub variation of Nuketown, they keep saying that it's not a destroyed version of Nuketown off in the distance of the real Nuketown, but I mean, that looks pretty destroyed to me. But one interesting thing to note is that some of these maps have had some work done to them since the beta. Of what we saw in the beta, there are going to be a few things that have changed on some of them. Whether they be minor, that's what they're looking more like out of what was revealed today, but maybe they have some major changes as well. But Skyline detailed a little bit of a new step introduced by the hot tub. This allowing more safety and elevation if you're trying to like duck into cover while capturing a flag from that kitchen or bar area of the penthouse. Obviously, the upper sort of balconies can still look down on that with relative ease, but it is something that offers a little bit more protection in some situations. And I'd imagine more maps also have some adjustments like that. Next, let's talk about and close out this sort of preview with the operators that we have here for Black Ops 6. We, of course, have those two factions of Rogue Black Ops as well as Crimson 1. So you don't have multiple different factions like you did back in the classic days, but you also don't have Team A versus Team B as generic as we saw with Vanguard. So we end up seeing that in Rogue Black Ops, we know of Adler, Park, Woods, Nazir, West Point, Bayon, Alvarez, Payne, Marshall, and then two of our dedicated crew of Weaver and Maya, that being part of the Zombies dedicated crew. Crimson 1, we end up having Brutus, Klaus, Rossi, Kane, Niren, Toro, Bailey, Stone, and the dedicated operators of Carver and Gray for Zombies. Now, what's interesting is that these are actually just going to be simply available for unlock as you progress. And seemingly also then relocking as you prestige unless those are somehow neglected from the relocking process but you'll end up getting a few of these along the regular player progression track starting at level 7 going all the way up to level 40. but interestingly and also not a great way to do this adler park brutus and klaus are only available through the vault edition there is no base skin here available as detailed by this blog post and this reveal of the systems at hand so it seems like it's another Modern Warfare 3 Vault Edition situation where you have to buy that to get those. Later on down the line, I'm assuming that they will introduce additional Operator skins, but probably not for like a month, two, maybe three. I forget when we saw our first ones introduced with Modern Warfare 3, but right out of the gate, unfortunately, that's not going to have a base and normal unlock system for those four operators. So just bear that in mind if you are really like looking forward to getting any of those four. But that's what we learned as of today and this reveal here for what was upcoming in Black Ops 6's multiplayer launch. But we also did learn, of course, that we have more comms and more reveals coming over the coming days leading to the launch here just in over a week's time. It's been explicitly detailed. We're going to have another communications blog about the zombies mode, prepping with a full list of augments, gobble gums, equipment, as well as tours of Terminus and Liberty Falls. There's going to be a blog for the weapons detailing all primary, secondary, and melee weapon details for Black Ops 6, including the latest innovations across Gunsmith and Attachments. And we're also going to end up seeing gear, that being your equipment of tacticals, lethals, field upgrades, perks, combat specialties, wild cards, and score streaks. All of that is going to be available at launch. And finally, we're going to have another blog post talking progression, detailing 
player level, the prestige system, all the rewards that are going to be available, calling cards, reticles, mastery badges, plus the thing I'm looking forward to, weapon camos, baby. Looking forward to that big time. But those are four additional blogs here coming over the next probably like six days or so here as we gear up for the launch. They aren't going to be publishing anything on the weekend. This is their final and last weekend before all hell breaks loose and the launch of the game. So probably going to be a little bit of quiet time over the weekend here. So we can see these happen at any point tomorrow, Friday, Monday through Thursday next week. We don't know, but more communications and reveals are definitely on the way. For now, that is where we're going to wrap it up. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of what was revealed today on our first look at some of what's coming for multiplayer? Again, not all of it, but just a small little bit of it. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts down below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, you found it all insightful, do me a favor, drop a like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Black Ops 6 as we gear up for all things upcoming with the launch and beyond. Love to have you in the community, but for now, thanks so much for watching. Modest Man Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.